My name's Jacob, this is Leah. She's one of the directors here at Holiday World Splash and Safari. So we do have a couple questions for you today. Absolutely. Um, with COVID going on, of course, mm -hmm. you guys have taken lots of steps and uh, preparing yes. for it. Now, I know that you guys are doing an online type of reservation system. Yep. How exactly does that all work? So once you come to the park, you'll come, walk through the gate and you'll be handed a wristband as soon as you come through. And what you'll do is you'll go to holidayworld.com slash inline and you'll add your wristband number right here. It's on top of your QR code. Um, you'll add as many wristbands as you have in your group. You're allowed to add up to 10. We hope they'll cover most families. Um, you'll add those in and you'll be ready to ride. So all you have to do is you'll look, you'll get to see the wait times for the first time at Holiday World. We've never had wait times before. Um, you'll get to see all of the wait times for the ride. So, you know, say Raven is an hour wait. You say get in line and you wait for an hour. You can go get some food. You can go use the restroom, play some games. So many things to do out in the park still. And now you get to just sit and relax rather than stand and maybe get hot or crowded with other people. Um, and then when it's time, um, your screen will go green and you'll go and someone will scan your wristband. You'll wait maybe five, max 15 minutes in line. And um, our team members will socially distance you on the ride. So um, if you're out going on the Raven, for example, um, if you've got a group of 10 people, we'll put all 10 of you together and then we'll distance you from the next group on the train. Um, but yeah, we're, we're really excited about the inline system. And will you be wiping down the trains in between or every train or we'll just have, where people are sitting? Yeah, we'll have um, them sanitized at regular intervals, but we've got sanitizer right as you get off of every ride. So we'll, we'll really put the responsibility on you to wash your hands on that but we will be sanitizing regularly as well. All right, and then you guys will also have kiosks set up throughout the park where employees can, where guests can come up to employees and sign up for rides that way as well. They can go to any of our gift shops or Holiday World services and we'll set you up with um, a ride reservation as well if you don't have a smartphone or something like that. And if all goes well, you guys do plan you guys could possibly continue doing this as the season goes on. We hope to continue it. We'll wait on guest feedback and just make sure that everyone enjoys it as much as we do. And have you guys thought about a plan for the water park if you guys do continue the inline reservation system? Absolutely. We're planning to use the inline reservation system for the water park as well. Um, we think it's going to be especially nice for the water coasters that tend to have longer waits. Um, but you know, we're, we're excited to see that play out. And even um, the wave pool, we're Still trying to work that out, but you may get like a half hour group, basically a, a chunk of half hour of time that you can go in. Still working that out exactly, but we'll also have employees there to make that reservation for you at the entrance of each ride so you don't need to keep your smartphone on you. We don't want you ruining your smartphone just so you can ride a water ride. <laughs> and, and you are going to have guests wear masks inside the park as well? Uh, we won't be requiring it. We do ask that, you know, we do ask that people consider it. Um, all of our employees will be wearing face masks, so we appreciate it, but we won't be requiring it. That's in accordance with um, Indiana state guidelines. They have said that they, you know, for public face masks will be optional starting June 14th. So we're going to stick with that. Now with COVID kind of affecting the sales for this year, mm -hmm. um, what do you think financially how it will affect with over the next couple years? You know, I think as with a lot of parks, you'll probably see, depending on how the season goes, it's hard to say before we've even had a guest step foot through our gate, but you'll probably see us delay some of our investments right now. But, you know, we're going to do our best to get things back on track as quickly as possible, but as financially responsibly as we can as well. And is there any big news for your guys' next anniversary coming up? I think in what, two years? <laughs> Next year is our 75th oh, anniversary. Um, we're really excited to celebrate it, and that's about all we know right now. <laughs> Do you have any other questions, Chris? Uh, no, that's probably about it for now. All right. All right. Well, thank you, Leah. Thank you.